Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my bathroom. Nice to see you here again. You know, I think a lot about sex. I mean, obviously I have this channel, my Instagram account, and just things in general. I've always thought about sex. So I thought, you know, let's do a Jenna Marbles inspired video and do thoughts from a bathtub. Sex edition. Here we go. I really think that sex should be something that's introduced into schools a lot earlier than it is right now. Not like full frontal, but at least let kids learn about what those body parts are underneath those clothes that some girl rubs up against her vagina and pubic area one day and feels a little tingly and good. She wants to know why that is and what that is. And if you leave kids in confusion, they'll just go about their own way and probably find some false facts, alternative facts about what's actually going on. So I think it's important to teach people at a younger age about what's going on. Yeah. And on that note, does everybody learn about sex from a young age? Does everybody know about it from a young age? Or is that just me? Why aren't there more sex shops in the world? I feel like I see a lot more clothing stores than sex shops and I feel like Sex is more important than clothes. Shouldn't there be more shops? Shouldn't there be like three to four sex shops in a mall rather than three to four Victoria's Secrets in a mall? When you have sex underwater, do all those holes that are supposed to be filled with sexual things like penises and fingers and dildos and other things, do those holes get filled with water? Do the things that go inside those holes push the water in or do they keep them out? I've always wondered. Does anybody really like flavored condoms? Because I feel like it just tastes like that weird artificial flavor mixed with latex and lube. Gross. What is it about mini skirts that are so attractive? Are boobs, high heels, and big butts the only things men find attractive? Or is there more? I think there should be a hotel that's just made for a sexcation. You're only there to have sex with your partner or multiple partners. And maybe there's a floor for just single people or people to mingle with others, strangers for a one night stand. And there's a floor just for them, and like floor by floor. It's a different thing. Come on, Vegas, make that. Does everyone think about if they fed the dog or if they got that milk at the grocery store, or where they left their keys when they're having sex? Or is that just me? Do people ever have sex in sex shops thinking that's what they're for? Do you have sex in a sex shop? That's what a sex shop is? Are porno mags still a thing, or are they like a vintage thing that the hipsters use? Like vinyl records are back in and Polaroid cameras, so are like physical copies of like a porno mag? Are those like vintage and the hipsters have them? Do people hide their sex toys somewhere else other than their underwear drawer? I think about like the junk drawer of your house. Normally in your kitchen, random things are in there. Flashlights, rubber bands, pens, stamps, things you've lost and they all get shoved into that drawer. Do people have like a sex toy drawer? Could be a thing. Why is porn always so fake and not realistic? I know there's companies out there that probably make more realistic porn, but why is everything I see very big tits and big butt and you know those are implants and huge penises, which I feel like aren't very common in the real world? Do you think anyone's ever had sex in every single country there is? I think that'd be a fun goal. Are there classes out there that teach you how to have sex? And if so, what do they teach you? How do you know that those instructors are any good at sex? How edible are edible panties? What day out of the year do most people have sex? Valentine's Day? Christmas Day? New Year's Eve? Hanukkah? Easter? Fourth of July? That seems kind of like a sex holiday, 4th of July, yeah. If there's somebody that holds this record, how many one night stands has a single person had? 
not a single person as in you're single, but one individual person had. I wonder if rose petals really make the moment more romantic. I feel like they might just get stuck in your butt crack and in weird places. What is the longest amount of time anybody has masturbated for? What is the longest amount of time people have had sex for? Days? Hours? Months? If you were to have sex in the ocean, would the water sting your vagina because it has salt in it? I think if people were to have sex more often or masturbate more often, the world would be a lot happier of a place. We'd all be so calm. Do you think people ever get tired of having sex? Like, will there ever be a time in my life where I'm too old to want to have sex? I don't think so, and I hope not. Do people keep journals about all the places they've had sex? Where they had it, what time, with who, what city, what it felt like, what the temperature was, what the weather was outside. I might start a sex journal. Do you think lotion companies keep track of the levels of boys going through puberty and buying lotion? Do you think they advertise more during that peak season? Is it weird to like lesbian porn, but not actually want to have sex with another girl? Do you get a pin for joining the Mile High Club? Thanks, goodies, for watching another video. I will see you in the next one when we talk about another fun sex topic.